What happened? That trailer's all jacked up. Jeez Louise. What you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, guess what? Maintenance on this guy. That's right. We are going to do... Wheel bone grease. We're going to take all these wheels off and check the grease on the bearings, check the brakes, make sure everything looks good, repack them, we're going to shove them back on here. So, here we go. What you doing? Is that gonna? Is that long enough? Yeah. We could turn the light on. Okay. I think I got them all. Okay, I'll re-ink the tire. Okay, tire's out of the way. Huh? So the tire's out of the way. Have to take that dust cap off first. Then what? What do you do next? Take out the. Take out the key. Oh, the one. That, yeah. There it is. Okay, have to get in there and yank that key out somehow. Okay, we got that guy off. See how the nut's loose already? Yeah, see, so next race will be too tight. Yep, okay. Now we just take that nut off. do next just grab that hub and pull it off i'll do that part <laughs> okay here we go oh. <laughs> yeah it's off so what we're gonna do next is clean this inside out oops repack the bearings or the bearings in there then we have the other bearing that we're going to pack out here as well. So, get this thing set up on this bench. Clean the brake dust. Now we just clean the seal up. Make sure there's no grease on the seal, especially when you put it on. Then he's gonna take some grease like this. Then he's just gonna stick his finger in there and pack it from the inside. Make sure it's all 
pack as much as we can get. Then we we'll the, in this one. There was yellow one too. Then we got. Uh, we're gonna pack this really good. Then we'll clean all this up. Get some brake clearing. Clean all this up. We'll stick it back on the trailer and we'll tighten it down. That's what we do. Just kind of stick your finger in there and just pack the grease in. A lot of grease down in there. Is there? Yeah. Just like that other one. Okay. Now you really greased that one up good. That first one didn't didn't have all that. <laughs> Okay, and we'll just clean the clean that off real quick. Make sure there's no grease on it. Ooh. That stuff stinks, but it's works really good okay now we're ready to stick it on back here time to check your brake pads and all that stuff too they look pretty good so yep okay okay now he's gonna try to attempt to put the bearing on like I said you'll know when it goes in Washer on it. Then the nut comes next. Okay, this is the, the fun part. What he's going to do is going to just tighten it down first, seat it, then he'll back it off just a little bit to line up to the next hole. You know, what I mean by a hole, there's a, it's where this carter pin will go through. See how it spins? And it seats it, and he'll back it off about a turn, just enough to line up the hole. Put the new quarter key in. You bring yep. it? No, I didn't. Let me go grab it. <laughs> okay. There's the key. And all you do is shove it in the hole. Then you have to bend it over. If you don't, it won't work. <laughs> like that. That's all you have to do. Keeps the nut from turning. And all we do is put the dust cap on, take a dead blow, and just tap it. There you go. Ready for a wheel. Yep, wheel time. <laughs> Pretty simple, huh? <laughs> nice hat, huh? <laughs> now what to do. There's just one more back here, this guy here. We already did this one and this one, and one on the other side. Now I'll explain what we did, how we did this with the jacks, and how we load the front end so we can raise these tires off the ground. So while he gets that tire off, I'll try to explain all this. Okay, you can see how this nose is way down on the floor. Okay. And we took pair of jack sands okay. and 
placement of these are pretty critical how we lift wood <laughs> off the ground. Okay. Uh, to lift the rear tires off the ground, we had to get these as far as close to this wheel here. Okay. And to get the front ones off, we have to take this one here. Oh, there we go. This one here. There we go. We have to take this wheel or this jack here and move it back further here, and it'll lift the front one by doing the same thing by lowering the tongue. So these are critical where you would place these. It depends on which axle you want to pull off the ground. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So that might or might not work for you. It worked for us. So placement of these jack stands is critical, at least for us. So, so remember, the further back will lift the back one. You take this and scoot it just a little bit forward, it'll lift the front one by lowering the tongue. So, so he, yep. That's one, but it's tight. Yep. So overall, pretty good so far. We have not found any major issues with these. Oh, for reference, these are 7,000 pound axles. So, uh, same procedure goes regardless what axle you're using. 3,500, 5,000, 7, 10, it doesn't matter. Same procedure. So, uh, just take your time and anybody do it. Even a monkey like me. <laughs> and me. And him. <laughs> Next, torque. Oh, there we got the right socket. This is the right socket. <laughs> anyway, uh, crisscross pattern. So uh, we're setting this to 100 foot pounds. So, so what you need to do is torque these once. After you drive it just for a little bit, you really need to torque these things again then you should be good to go. So remember, torque one time, initial time, we'll torque it one more time after we get down the road a little bit, pull over, torque everything one more time, and it should be good to go. I'll show the crisscross I'm talking about. Then all you do is come right across it where the other nut is, and come back up. it so if you want to just touch each one just make sure you got them all you can do that this way you know you got everything like it see how easy that was I wore him out <laughs> anyway hopefully uh, you got something out of this video something everybody should be doing anyway check your uh brakes your hubs all that stuff the uh bearings and all that stuff you need to do at least once every other year at the most i think we got two years on this it's the start of our third year so definitely i would not let it get past in two years so hate to see you broken down the side of the road anyway uh if you do like what you see go ahead and hit the subscribe button and uh if you got any comments leave in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this Click on the little bell, that'll alert you, hey, we got a new video. So with that, I'm out of here.